Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. Today, we're jumping into the brand new Forza Horizon 4 Update 32. And spoiler alert, this update is absolutely insane. It includes eight brand new cars, six of which are part of a brand new car pack. That's not all, though. I have a surprise that I bet you didn't expect for Forza Horizon 4. However, there's also some bad news about this update. As always, though, if you do want to see any of these vehicles in more detail, make sure you subscribe to the channel, because as soon as they get added into the game, I'll be making a video here on the channel for you guys, covering what they're like to drive, the gameplay, all of the upgrades and the customization. If you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into these eight brand new vehicles for the game. Let's start it off with the two that you can unlock in the festival playlist. And let's start it off with this thing, the Shelby GT500. Let's go, it's finally here. For those of you who don't know, I own a Shelby GT350, so having this thing in the game is so, so cool. Anyways, you can unlock it by banging out an event in the summer, so it should take you all of 10 minutes to unlock a Shelby GT500. So the Shelby GT500 is the most powerful Mustang ever with 760 horsepower. It has a big ol' rear wing on the back so it can go around corners as fast as possible. It should be a super cool car to have in Forza Horizon 4. Anyways though, moving away from the Shelby GT500, well, you know how I said that was the most powerful Mustang ever made? C kinda lied. This one is, this is the Shelby 1000. It has 1000 horsepower, can do more than 200 miles an hour, and this is the most powerful Mustang ever made. So yes, we're not getting just one Mustang, we are getting two of them. I think you can see why I like this update so much. Anyways, the Shelby 1000 is super cool. It is actually the only car in this month's update that has been in a previous Forza game before. It was actually back in Forza Horizon 1. Anyways, again, you can unlock this thing by simply completing an event in the middle of spring, so super easy. Again, should take you all of 10 minutes. So both the Shelby GT500 and the Shelby 1000, those are gonna be the two free vehicles added in for update 32. However, there are six more vehicles as a part of this, the Hot Wheels Legends car pack. I can already see you typing out your comment, will I need to buy it, how much does it cost, and yes you will. This car pack is going to be available for purchase for $10 American, so it just depending on where you live. You're probably also wondering what are those six cars that is included in the Hot Wheels Legends car pack. Well, let's start it off with this, yes! The 2 Jet Z is officially coming to Forza Horizon 4. I've spoken about this car a lot here on the channel before. Long story short, it is a super cool one of one 2JZ powered hot rod race car looking rocket ship kind of thing. The funny thing about the 2 Jet Z in Forza Horizon 4 is although it is a 2JZ, the same engine from the Toyota Supra, this one has 650 horsepower bone stock. So, in terms of how Forza works and stuff, there is no guarantee that we'll be able to add in the 1600 horsepower that the Supras can run. I am seriously crossing fingers that this thing will have 1600 horsepower, but we will have to see. If it can, it is gonna be so fast it's not even funny. Subscribe if you want to see that though. Anyways, moving away from the 2 Jet Z, we arrive at this, the Chevy Love. Love stands for Light Utility Vehicle. It is a super interesting pickup truck where somebody took the engine out of the front and chucked it into the pickup truck bed and then it was too big so it literally sticks straight out of the roof. Anyways, it's a big Hemi engine so we're gonna be able to toss some crazy horsepower into this thing. 
It's a super fun little vehicle. I'm happy it's in Forza Horizon 4. After that, we arrive at something super, super unique. This is the International Harvester. You know the International Scout that we've got in Forza? Well, this is sorta kinda its bigger brother. The International Harvester back in the day was a box truck. Somebody decided to take a chainsaw to the box truck, then take a chainsaw to the engine, put that in the back, and then put an enormous rear wing on the thing, and they did all of that in three months to build this. It is gonna be a super big, super heavy vehicle. We will have to see what upgrades it's got. I am really hoping though for some mega power mods for this. Also, spoiler alert, I can totally see this thing doing a wheelie, so we will definitely give that a go. Again, subscribe. Moving away from the International Harvester, we arrive at this thing, which I'm trying my hardest to pronounce this week. The Studerbaker? Studebaker? Something like that? This thing is basically the definition of a rolling fun fact for Forza Horizon. I am gonna have fun with this thing when it officially comes to the game. However, all you need to know basically it is essentially a custom built car and is kind of like a Franken car. Uses bits and bobs from everything. Literally everything, even a motorbike. It is a super tiny little vehicle along with this, the Nash Metropolitan. I believe the tiniest car of the Hot Wheels Legends car pack. The cool thing with this is you know how the 2Jet Z won the Hot Wheels Legends tour and became a real life Hot Wheels? Well, so did this thing in 2019. So you can actually go buy a toy version of this car in real life. Anyways, it is a tiny little vehicle. I'm not even joking. I feel like if most people sit in it, their head would go over the windscreen. Its wheels stick out from the body. So does the engine along with the dice. It is super, super different. And finally, the sixth and final car is this. The Ford F5 Dually. Yes, Forza's first Dually is officially here, and it's here in the form of a hot rod. It has six wheels, a super cool interior, mega amounts of horsepower, and I would not be surprised if this thing is OP in Forza Horizon 4. Because it has six wheels, it is going to have mega amounts of grip. Depending on how much weight reduction this thing has, it could very well be extremely fast in this game. Again, that is something we will need to see and wait for when this car officially comes out. So at this point, you're probably wondering, when can I drive all of these cars? When is this car pack coming out? Well, unfortunately, that's one of the unfortunate things. I don't actually have a date for you guys. The developers have actually said they noticed a glitch in the new update, so they're working right now to go and fix that so they can drop this update as soon as possible. So unfortunately, no, I can't tell you exactly when this car pack is gonna be coming out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because as soon as it does come out, I will let you guys know here. With the disappointing news out of the way, I have one more thing I wanted to mention today, and that is something game-changing for Forza Horizon 4. For a first for the Forza franchise, Forza Horizon 4 is gonna be available on Steam. On March 9th, you can now go and purchase Forza Horizon 4 on Steam along with all of the DLC. If it's anything like the other games that Microsoft has ported over to Steam, you will still need a Microsoft Xbox Live account, but if you're on PC, those are completely free, so don't worry. But if you purchase all of your games on Steam, well, now you can play Forza Horizon 4. Unfortunately, at the time of recording this video, we don't have too many of the details for how it's going to work for, like, invites or your files and your saves and things like that. I will do some testing behind the scenes and get back to you guys. Maybe in the future, though, we'll do some giveaways for a couple copies on Steam. We will have to see. So there you have it. That is everything Forza Horizon 4 related for update 32. Like I said, a crazy, crazy update with eight brand new vehicles as well. The game is coming to Steam. There you have it. That's everything you guys need to know. Subscribe if you want to see the cars in more detail. I'll see you guys soon with some more Forza Horizon 4. See you then. Bye.